Well, even talk. So that's why the Holy Spirit has to sort all this stuff out. You have to have an open heart. Don't don't uh, reject everything. Just have an open heart and say, Lord, teach me. I'm teachable. And if I'm wrong, Lord, correct me. Tell him that. I tell him that every day. If I'm wrong, I don't want to teach people wrong. Oh, God, please correct me. Straighten out my, my doctrine. Well, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. He's the teacher. He'll guide us into all truth, he said, and he will do that. But sometimes we're a little thick-headed and it takes a while for him to do it. I know I have been. So it takes a little while for him to do it. But stay with it. Stay with it, and he'll straighten it out. And he'll sort it all out for you. You're on the right track because you're inquisitive and you're searching. And that's the key. It's the one who's not hungry and not searching, just saying, well, I know better than that. Then that person's got some issues because, you know, they're not even trying. They just already decided, well, you're all crazy. Y'all come to church every day. Y'all crazy. <laughs> well, some people think that. We know better. <coughs> we know they're the ones crazy for not coming to church, right? That's right. Praise the Lord. Everybody yes, okay with all that? Yes, sir. What time is it? Yeah, we're not too bad. I got about ten minutes, I guess. Huh? Y'all put up with me ten more minutes? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, all right, we're talking about words being real important. All this has to do with it. It's all good. So, words are spirit. We said John six sixty three. Words are faith's expression. Can we say that? Is that factual? Words are faith expression yes. that would be correct wouldn't it mm -hmm. because because we said what about, huh? yeah what we said it comes from what you believe right or from the abundance of the heart so whether it be good or bad it's still the expression of it right. you, you understand when we say believers and we say faith we we look at it as faith in God but yet fear is a faith it's just the wrong kind right it's still faith, it's just the wrong kind. And it's powerful. Most people are highly developed in fear and not developed in faith. But fear is faith in the wrong way. And it still brings about results similar to faith, but just in the wrong manner. Yeah. Fear, it, it would be safe to say that fear is the belief of circumstances, right? Fear is the belief of, like fear is believing to not believe positively. Yeah. In other words, fear can be an imagination. Fear can be, uh, as a matter of fact, they've proven about 90% of everything people fear never happens. But the, the fear is, 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 is faith in reverse. It's taking that thought so much so that they act on it. Which that's what faith is. It's believing and acting, right? Believing is acting. So, words are faith's expression to a Christian. Let's clarify it that way. Words are faith's expression to a Christian. When we said that, when we said Romans 10, 9, and 10, you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and out of your mouth you confess, Jesus is my Lord. So that's faith's expression of believing that God raised him from the dead. And so now he's Lord. He's not just Lord, meaning that he's going to take me to heaven, Lord. He's Lord of everything. <clears throat> He's Lord over my body. He's Lord over my mind. He's Lord over circumstances in my life. He is Lord. All right? So, it, it, it's uh, words also communicate, right? There are means of communication. I don't think anybody argue with that one, right? Um, now, let me just mention this here. I'll try to, try, try to explain my thought pattern, then I'll, then I'll quit. But... What what makes words powerful? What what makes words powerful, okay? Think about this now. If you have a child and the, and you tell the child, "Don't uh don't eat that cookie." And the child goes, ah, "Eat the cookie," right? The well, words told him, "Don't eat the cookie, child," right? He didn't care. It's just words. It's a cookie. But let me ask you this. Now, Daddy comes over and takes his belt off and gives him a few stripes on his butt. Next time he says, don't eat the cookie, what's the child going to do? <laughs> it's most likely because he'll remember the penalty 
And the power behind the words, the authority behind the words, he's not going to try it again. Now that's a real simplistic explanation, but still what I'm trying to prove is that the, the child, the reason the word is powerful is because of the power behind it. Okay, the authority you might say behind it. All right, now, so when Jesus spoke to the demons and commanded them to come out, or he said, you can say to the mountain, be removed. Or he, 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 he spoke to the dead people and they came back to life. The, the demons know the power behind the word. Okay? The demon, now think about the child and the daddy. The daddy says, okay, child, don't eat the cookie. Child's never been spanked, never had a problem. Love that cookie. Okay, but then he's going to pay for it. Daddy whoops his butt. Next time he says, don't eat that cookie. The child thinks about it. Huh? I remember what happened last time. So there was some power now behind those words. Now, Jesus Christ went to the cross, <coughs> defeated Satan head on. Boom. I mean, stripped him, the Bible says, of his uh, principalities, power, just stripped him. And so, now, whenever... You say to the devil, in the name of Jesus, words like, be removed, get out, you have no right here, do this, do that. Guess what? There's power, not your power, but the power of the name of Jesus, what he did, the blood of Jesus. There's power in those words, and Satan knows it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he also knows whether you know it. We saw that with the sons of Siva. Remember that story? Okay, he also knows whether you know it, see? How does he know whether you know it or not? Well, he knows it by what you say, and he knows it by what you do. That's Because Satan is not a mind reader. And, and he, that's the only way he can know. If he knows it by what you're saying out of your mouth, and he knows by what you're doing, your actions. So he knows whether or not you're for real. So whenever this uh, Sons of Siva was there, and... They they tried to cast out the demons. The demons said, well, Paul I know and Jesus I know. We don't know who you are. So they jumped on and whooped their butt. Mm -hmm. So here, what we're saying is, in Jesus, in Christ, these words are powerful. They pierce the spirit realm. They bring about, the Bible says in Romans 4, 17, calling those things that be not as though they were. In other words, calling out what you don't see as if you saw it, it becomes. Okay? There's power in those words. Jesus said, if you say to the mountain, be thou removed, doubt not in your heart, but believe that the words that you say will come to pass, you'll have what you say. So here, this, this, you're saying, speaking out into the spirit realm with all heaven's power behind you. The authority that created everything. Now, when you think about that and meditate on it a while, you'll see why your words are important, your prayers are important, your commands are important. What you say every day is vitally important to your victory. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. I never knew. Like, I, I do know in a way, you know what I mean, Jesus' power and stuff. But ever since I got saved, I just started knowing the name of Jesus. See, you know, I just kind of threw it in as part of the prayer, but now that you put it that way, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I realize why just I picture that out. Satan was the little kid, but Jesus whooped his butt real good. Yeah, not only was he the like, is he the Word, but he's God, and that's pretty awesome. Hallelujah! Well, oh, good, yes, sir. I, you know, I, I just read that story in Acts this morning about the seven Did you? and all that. Yeah, and it, well, I've heard a bunch of times, and that, but I just read it again this morning. And uh, but what you were just saying there about um. The only way Satan knows whether we know the authority of Jesus' name or not is by our words and our actions. Yeah. If we live under the authority of Christ, and, I, and I've said it because I've heard it quoted so many times, you can only use Jesus' name with authority when you're under the authority of Jesus. Right. But when we, you know, speak, when we're double-minded, you know, and we're wavering, Satan knows that. That's right. And that's when uh, and he'll try you can't you. use... You know, he'll try you. Just like a kid will try you. He said, don't you do it. And the kid will still keep on doing it. Don't you do it. 
It'll keep, and he'll try, and he even may even do it just to see if you'll do what you're going to say you do. You ever heard a parent? And they'll say, "Now I told you, I'm going to tell your daddy," and they say that 50 times, and they never tell daddy. Well, the kid knows the next time. Who cares? Them words are no good. He ain't going to tell daddy anyway. But if he really tell daddy, and daddy whoops his butt, well, then they think about it next time. Well, Satan's butt was whooped. He he ain't nothing no more. So the Bible says he goes about as a roaring lion, lion seeking whom he can devour. He's a toothless lion. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this time together tonight. Thank you for these men of faith. Thank you for the addition of young David here, Lord. Thank you, Father God. His name is, is a great name in the Bible. And I believe by faith this man is going to be a great man Amen. In the, for the kingdom of God on this earth, Lord God, as a testimony to your glory and to your goodness, Lord. And we thank you, Father, every satanic force in his life is bound in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. And has no power over him anymore. Satan, you're a loser. Get off in Jesus' in name. Jesus. And I thank you for a sound, disciplined mind in his life, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that each of these young men, Father God, will accomplish great things for you. We bless Josh Amen. as he's left, Father. Meet every need in his life. And bless him on his job. Let him be a powerhouse for you. In the name Amen. of in Jesus, name of we Jesus. pray. Amen. 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 Love you guys. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Speaking.